Good morning and a warm welcome to Holy Mass at the Redemptress Media Center on this Friday of the Easter Octave. This Holy Mass is offered for the following intentions. We pray for the repose of the following souls, Mrs. Lily Martin and Mrs. Philomena, Mary Cora, Mrs. Esperanza Quadros and the Holy Souls in Purgatory, Mary Abraham, C.A. Maria Raj and C.A. Arun Kumar, Leonilda D'Souza, Sherin Concesan, Cordula and Cyril Mascarenas, Harry and Dora Gonzalez, C.A. K.A. Thomas, Mary Margaret, Ruth D'Souza on the Birthday Remembrance, Ronald Lynette and Granville Carter, Manuel Mota on the Death Anniversary, Mr. Michael Fernando, Miss Magdalena. Miranda, Mr. Milton Mascarenas Colombo, Sister Shanta Korean, Mr. Ganesh Kate, Girly Savundra Nayagam on the birthday remembrance, Vinod. Joseph George on the birthday remembrance, Mrs. and Mr. K.P. Utup and Major James Utup, Mrs. K.P. Philip and N.J. George, Theophilo, Maria Concesao and Ancestors, Joachim, Josephine Lobo and Ancestors, Cipriano, Piedad and Ancestors, Francisco Piedad and Ancestors, The Needy Souls in Purgatory, and Mr. K. A. Thomas on the 27th Death Anniversary. We also join in thanksgiving on special occasions and for special intentions with the following persons, Hazel Boniface, to Sacred Heart of Jesus, Suarez and Family, to Sacred Heart of Jesus, Mr. Leo Anthony and Mrs. Matilda Leo, to St. Joseph, Caroline, to the Sacred Heart and Immaculate Heart. We also offer this Mass for these special intentions. Lavina, Ajoy, O'Neill and family, Yannick, Somme, Andrea Gomes, Teresa Rebello, Mrs. Valentine and Mr. Ivan Foster, Mrs. Amrita Fadnavis, Jimmy and family, Mac and Michelle, Dominic Deepak, Vanita and Adrian, Benu and Ira Suman. With these intentions and with our own in our hearts, let us prayerfully participate in this Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, 
and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we have come to celebrate this Eucharist. We have come to experience the risen Lord. And the Lord is very much available through this sacrifice. What is that preventing you and me to recognize the risen Lord in our lives? Is it because of my own lack of faith? Is it because of my sinfulness and weaknesses? Or is it because of my lack of enthusiasm to know Christ, to love Christ, to encounter Christ? So may I come today to this Eucharist celebration. Let us ask God's mercy and forgiveness for all our failures. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to, to God, God in the, in the highest. highest. And, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people of goodwill. Good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who gave us the Paschal Mystery in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race, so dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith, we may express it in deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, as Peter and John were speaking to the people after the lame man was healed, the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them, greatly annoyed because they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection from the dead. And they arrested them and put them in custody until the next day, for it was already evening. But many of those who had heard the word believed and the number of the men came to about 5,000. On the next day, the rulers and elders and scribes gathered together in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest and Caiaphas and John and Alexander and all who were of the high priestly family. And when they had set them in the midst, they inquired, by what power or by what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders, if we are being examined today concerning a good deed done to a crippled man, by what means this man has been healed, 
let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man is standing before you well. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our response, Alleluia. Alleluia. Give praise to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. Alleluia. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, a marvel in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Alleluia. Alleluia. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and has given us light. Alleluia. Alleluia. Kindly stand for the gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus revealed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias. And he revealed himself in this way. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just as the day was breaking, Jesus stood on the shore Yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, do you have any fish? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they were not able to howl it because of the quantity of fish. That disciple whom Jesus loved therefore said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his outer garment, for he was stripped for work, and threw himself into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land, but about a hundred yards off. When they got out on the land, they saw a charcoal fire in place, with fish laid out on it, and bread. And Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard 
and howl the net ashore, full of large fish, one hundred fifty three of them. And although there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, so with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus was revealed to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the Redemptors during the missions sing a song to the people. And I would like to sing that song this morning to you, my dear brothers and sisters. Surprise, surprise, God is a surprise, right before your eyes, it's baffling to the world. Surprise, surprise, God is a surprise, open up your eyes and see. And how true, my dear friends, this hymn during this season of Easter. If Good Friday is a surprise that the man gave to God and crucified him on the cross, God indeed gave a surprise to the humanity on the Easter Sunday by raising Jesus from the dead. The whole season, my dear friends, God is surprising us through His revelation, through His Easter experience, that Jesus continued to appear to His beloved disciples to show that He is alive. Today's experience, my dear friends, very, very significant in the life of Simon Peter and his disciples. Remember, Jesus called them on the very same seashore. When a whole night they did not get a fish, they were disappointed. They were sad. And that is the time Jesus gave them the hope. Not just a fish, but Jesus said to Simon Peter, From today onwards, you will be fisher of men. And then they left everything and followed Jesus. It was wonderful for Peter and his companion to be with Jesus for three years. And they experienced the glory of God, the power of God, being with Jesus. But they also experienced the failure, the ultimate failure of Jesus being crucified on the cross. Now, another experience, today's gospel tells us, a similar situation where Peter comes back to his trade, comes back to his work, comes back to his old ways of life. Again, Jesus comes and he surprises Peter and his disciples. And he appears to them and gives them the hope. So, my dear brothers and sisters, in a way, like in today's first reading and the Psalms, the stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Jewish people rejected Jesus. On Good Friday, the whole crowd said, crucify him, crucify him. They rejected Jesus. Simon Peter and his disciples ran away from Jesus. They also rejected Jesus. But, my dear friends, the difference is Peter and his companion renewed their faith in the cornerstone, renewed their faith in the resurrection of the Lord. As the beloved disciple said, it is the Lord. It is only by recognizing in our day-to-day -day life, it is the Lord, our faith, my dear friends, bears fruit in our day-to-day -day lives. It is by recognizing that it is the Lord that our faith is being strengthened. It is only by recognizing it is the Lord 
that we are with God. So may come today, my dear friends, if man could write something, man could surprise God on the Good Friday, God surprises on Easter Sunday, and he will continue to surprise us, he who believes in him. He who puts his trust in him, and he who believes that Jesus is truly re resurrected from the dead. May this Eucharist be an experience of encountering that risen Lord in this very breaking of the bread. That be our prayer, that be our experience this morning. Amen. Pray, my friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray. The solemn exchange brought about by these paschal offerings, that we may be drawn from earthly desires, to a longing for the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcometh Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. indeed holy O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time I was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, soul of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come, until you come Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the Francis our Pope, Peter Machado, Archbishop, and all the clergy, religious, and all your faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed St. Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. God is a loving Father, and therefore with the trust and confidence we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in the heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, and you say to each one of us gathered here, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my, under my roof, but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us attune our minds and our hearts and souls to the presence of Jesus, the risen Lord, who has touched us today through his word and through this communion. Like John who said, it is the Lord. He is my innermost soul. Hears that word, it is the Lord. It is the Lord who has come into my heart. It is the Lord who has come into my soul. It is the Lord who has come into my body to renew my hope, to renew my love, to renew my faith. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray. Those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, we may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the end of the pandemic. Almighty and merciful Father, who show your love to all your creation, 
We come before you asking for a quick control of the coronavirus currently ravaging our world. Hear graciously the prayers we make for those affected by the virus in various parts of the world. Grant healing to the sick, eternal life to the dead, and consolation to the bereaved families. Protect doctors, nurses, and others serving the sick. We pray that as the medicines and vaccines to come back to the sickness are being found, they may be effectively and equitably distributed to the most vulnerable populations all over the world. We pray for all the governments and health authorities that they may appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord and Redeemer. Amen. Amen. There is an announcement to make. Join us for another episode of Who's Who in the Bible, praying with the Bible characters at 7 p.m. today's. And today's character is John the Baptist. And it will be conducted by Reverend Father Joseph Ryan. Divine Mercy Novena will be at 3 p.m. today. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God, Alleluia, Alleluia. Follow me, follow me, leave your home and family, leave your fishing nets and boats on the shore. Leave the seeds that you have sown.